hello friends welcome back to my channel and we are back with another uh, five minutes tech talk video so in this tutorial we are going to talk about the restart policy on docker container okay we will see how we can set the restart policy and uh, we will see the options what are the options with the restart uh, policy in, in the docker container and uh, how it goes along with the docker container run command okay so usually in you know, the command or how we use is like docker container run and the hyphen hyphen restart and the policy okay so when we say about the policy um, in the uh, docker container this is how the format will be like docker container run hyphen hyphen restart and then the policy and the, the policy can have options and it will come the image and the command okay and uh, uh, normally there are three policies okay uh, one is no which uh, means like you know the container will not restart even if it dies okay and we can use the policy as on failure so what does it mean like uh, the container will restart if uh, it fail with the non-zero exit code okay and uh, we can use the policy as always what does it mean like you know the container will always restart uh, without worrying of the return code okay uh, so let me uh, just show you about the docker documentation because there is one more and we will uh, talk a little bit more over these policies okay so if i go to this uh, docker documentation you can see there is one more uh, policy called unless dot it's always it says like it's similar to the always okay so uh, but there is some exception so let's read uh, about the always so when we say about the policy always it says the container will be restarted always uh, if it gets stopped right uh, but there is an exception like uh, if the container is manually stopped then it is restarted only when the docker daemon is restarted or, or the container itself is manually restarted so what does means like you know if the container if you manually stop, uh, stop it it will not be automatically restarted even if you use the policy as always okay but if it's uh, failed because of some other uh, problem with the container inside uh, some issues or something or some post from the, those kind of things it will automatically restart but whereas this policy like unless stop it says like when the container is stopped uh, manually uh, it is not restarted even if the docker daemon is restarted so that means it will not be uh, restarted automatically even the docker daemon is restarted also okay so that's the only difference so mainly we'll be using these two policy on failure or always okay so let's see how we can create it uh, in the docker uh, you know, machine okay. so i will also request you to subscribe to my channel if you have not uh, done yet okay or if you are a new person uh, please click on the subscribe button uh, please uh, uh, click on the notification bell icon so you'll be notified of any new videos which i upload okay so this is a, a docker uh, a machine where i have installed on CentOS. okay and uh, if I go I don't have a uh, docker images running okay so let me uh, go like docker container run okay and the hyphen hyphen help uh, you can see it, it will give you all the details of uh, what you can use with docker container run right and you can see there is something called start start uh, sorry hyphen hyphen restart and uh, string right uh, restart policy to apply when a container exits right so that is what we are going to use okay and uh, the string means like uh, what we spoke about like on failure or uh, uh, no, or uh, uh, always okay so let's cl uh, clear out the screen and let me create a container okay so docker uh, container run iphone iphone restart and uh, i will give equal always okay so what that means like always this container has to be restarted hyphen d hyphen it okay and i'm going to use ubuntu image okay ubuntu slash bin slash bash okay so if you see uh, i have a docker container running okay so what it happens actually if this container is uh, killed uh, you know or it's it's, it's uh, not stopped uh, because of some internal issues it will get automatically restarted okay but if you if i manually you know or stop it uh, then it will not be started so like a docker stop and if i stop this container it will not be uh, restarted automatically because it's uh, no, i have uh, stopped it manually okay so whereas the other issue uh, other uh, options like docker container let me use the same 
one okay uh whereas this policy where we have uh, spoke about on failure on failure okay there is another container is created okay so in the difference between both these containers is like you know uh, on failure it will look for uh, any error code in the container failure and if it's a non-zero code then it will get uh, you know uh, restarted okay and uh, you can also set here some other parameters like you know, on failure you can put something like it will be restarted only if there is a uh, three times the failure happens so you can put a three something like this so you can see one more container is created okay so uh, this container uh, it just created it will only restart if you uh, know uh, the docker uh, container is failing uh, with a uh, non-zero code and if it happens three times okay then only it will get uh, re uh, rebooted or restarted so this uh, uh, restart is applicable only for containers okay not for docker some so that's what uh, you just need to remember it okay so that is all I just wanted to show in this uh, quick tutorial. So I hope uh, this is an informative tutorial for you and uh, thank you for watching. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like the video, share and comment.